right? So we're trying. Oh my God. Whoa! Whoa! Slow down. this morning I'm gonna have to take another shower as you can see but just wanted to give you kind of an update on where we are with the kitchen not really a whole lot has changed that's kind of just giving you an idea of what we're doing today so I'm sanding and then mudding again and then I have a whole lot of cleanup to do uh, as you can see not just myself but the house <laughs> all right so I sanded this corner again so I'm going to do another coat, trying to kind of blend this in a little bit better, but the corner itself looks pretty good. I also did the top here, sanded that. I have a little bit of touch-up areas to do, um, but it's looking pretty good. Same with along this corner, so this particular area here that where it joins in has been a little bit difficult to do. Um, just because it's harder to blend the two areas in because um, you have this going this way and then this going that way. Then I also did all along the top seam here which is looking pretty good I think. So probably a little bit more sanding on that to go. And then that should be all set to paint which means then I can come around here and paint this along the top. So all of that. I've been holding off on painting it and priming it just in case I needed, like there was um, some buildup along the edge here. And when it's already painted, it makes it pretty difficult to um, try to sand that down. So I just wanted to avoid that problem. And then lots and lots of vacuuming going on today, as you can probably tell. All right, so I put another coat on here, kind of blending more of that in, which hopefully when it dries, it uh, will blend much nicer. And then I think that Mary might be done. Um, we'll see how it dries. It might need just one more thin layer um, along here again, just to kind of blend the corner over. But I think it's turning out pretty good. It's hard to tell right now just because you have the dark and then the white hard to tell what it's gonna look like when it dries but I think it'll look pretty good put another coat along here for this um, section that we did um, this part of the drywall was taken out for electrical stuff so we could have some fancy dancy switches put in there and along the ceiling here I did a little bit of I had to um, pre mud that corner because there was some gapping going on and I'll get this to focus here here we go so I had some gapping that was going on so I had to pre-mud to kind of close the gap and now I finally taped that corner so waiting for that to dry and then same thing with this corner here and then I did another coat I wasn't completely satisfied with um, the blending from the scene this part of the ceiling to this um, you could see a little bit of a seam so I kind of floated it out a little bit here and so that'll get um, sanded down basically finished and then I will be able to paint and that's pretty much the extent of, of all the drywalling that I'm gonna get done today just because I have to wait for it to dry but it's turning out really well and then once this area on this side's done I will paint this whole wall I just kind of left it for now because it just I have to prime it and I would rather just get the whole thing done at once rather than doing it in sections so but we did get our little cover on there finally so yeah on to uh, taking the dogs and getting their coat blown out and all that good stuff so we were going to blow their coats out because they've been shedding a lot um, but it's been raining on and off pretty much non-stop today so we haven't really been able to catch a break it's been pretty crappy yes i don't know what we're gonna do maybe some trick stuff 
So we're gonna try doing a couple tricks and seeing how the dogs do. Now these, they've already been taught these tricks previously, so this isn't their first time doing it, but we haven't really tried these tricks with them in a while. So we're gonna kind of try it out again and see if we can jog their memory. Harrison, can I get a paw from you? <gasps> Good boy. Good boy, Hera. Paw. How about your paw? Thank you. Can you lay down for me? Good boy. Good yeah. boy. Can you bow? Bow. Good girl. Good girl. Give me that first try. Yeah. We haven't done that one in a really long time. No. Harrison, can you bow? Can you bow? Good boy. Good boy. All right, ready? Bow. Good girl. Good girl, twice in your row. Kara, can you bow? Bow. Come on, bud. Bow. Good boy. Sit pretty. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Shia used to be able to know the sit pretty command. Um, it's harder for her to do, obviously, because she just wants to stand out. Oh, that's pretty good. Wants to jump up when she does it, so yeah, it's something she needs to work on. Um, Harrison actually, because he has some slight arthritis and he's a bigger dog, it's really hard for him to do that. So we actually don't even ask him to do it, just because it's a little tougher on him. So. <laughs> All right, sit, shake, other paw, good girl, down. So yeah, I realized that we actually had some leftover clips from last week. If you remember from last week, that was when we had Kevin and Joe over and we were doing the uh, dog IQ test and the, the cat box test with the tape. Um, so yeah, we had some extra clips of them. We actually had them outside. We had a break in the weather. It was actually okay enough to have everyone outside. And we kind of tried out to see if they were able to uh, do the skateboard drawing that we had. Kevin was the first one to try it and he actually fell pretty bad. Um, he ended up cutting up his, his elbow. Um, so I didn't get the whole shot, but I'll, we have a couple clips of him trying it out. And then after Joe saw that Kevin fell pretty bad, when he tried it out, he decided to sit down, which is probably the safer bet. So we have a couple quick clips of him too. So we'll throw those in there for this week so you guys can see what it was like. All right, so we're trying, oh my God. Whoa! There goes Kevin with our dog. So there you have it guys. So they're actually able to remember a lot of their tricks and they remembered it pretty quickly too, which is surprising because we actually haven't done it with them for a while. So uh, yeah, it was really good to see them obeying, listening to commands and Shia's really revved up to go. They're actually both revved up. 
Um, we were hoping to do something outside today, but the weather's been really crappy. So uh, this was a good alternative for us, so we're happy. Anyways, so yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you share it with your friends so they can see it too. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.